is CTV Newsnet. Welcome back. As we were telling you before the break, concerns are being raised that some of Ontario's busiest bridges may be unsafe. unsafe. A study says the province's 12,000 municipal bridges don't undergo regular provincial inspections. With more on the concerns about Ontario's bridges, I'm joined by Andy Manahan. He is Executive Director of the Residential and Civil Construction Alliance of Ontario, the organization that commissioned this study. What kind of state are Ontario bridges in? Well, the surprising finding was that uh, of the 12,000 bridges, um, one third of municipalities responded to tell us what the state of repair of those bridges were. Now, we didn't analyze specifically what each of those bridges was like, but the startling finding was that the bridges are supposed to be inspected every two years, and a number of those municipalities are not meeting that timeline. And part of that is because in 1997, the province or the Ministry of Transportation downloaded responsibility for those bridges onto the local governments. The local governments, especially in the smaller rural municipalities, did not have the technical expertise or the financial resources to be able to inspect the bridges. Okay, so, I mean, are we literally at risk of them falling down as somebody's driving over them? Well, one of the reasons why we did this study, Kate, was because uh, of the Laval mm -hmm. uh, collapse last year. And uh, while our surveys were being sent out, of course, the uh, tragedy happened in Minneapolis with their bridge across the I-95. So I don't think we can say for certain that bridges are going to collapse, but there has been a lot of deferred maintenance. We're not blaming any one particular government. It's successive governments over the years have either downloaded or not kept on top of infrastructure. So because of that deferred maintenance, um, the cost to rehabilitate bridges, which in many cases are over 50 years old across Ontario, uh, is becoming much more difficult. And when I talked to, to people after the Laval incident, they were explaining that the lifespan of, of bridges is pretty much that, 50 years. Yeah, 50 to 75 years, but if you don't do the regular inspection and maintenance, uh, then the lifespan may be shortened a little bit. And obviously what happened in Laval, they went by and, and, and looked at it according to the Johnson Commission and they did recognize, and even in the early 90s there were problems, but again they deferred uh, really uh, taking the bull by the horns and fixing that infrastructure and then we had that tragedy. So we really don't want to see that in Ontario. We're not fear-mongering or saying that's going to happen in Ontario, but if corrective action is taken and the province once again assumes responsibility as they had up until 1997, we think that we can correct uh, the problem. All right, so this downloading idea of the responsibility of the municipalities, you think that's a bad idea and we've got to reverse that decision? We have to reverse it because, um, well, we've heard a number of mayors uh, last week um, from the large urban municipalities say that uh, they can't fund infrastructure from the property tax base. So we have to look at multi-year predictable funding models. I think that's the way to go. All right, thank you very much uh, for helping us understand that a little better. You're welcome.